guys to the next episode of straight six auto parts and today we have on the lot 2011 BMW 335 E90 M Sport package <laughs> the car came to us from Fontana California and this one in beautiful condition it has 97,000 miles on it but it's super clean and I think the guy who bought this he drove it like a couple days maybe even less than a day because I found the sticker from like from a dealership where it says the information about the vehicle and the price he took the, that list out but he didn't took the tape out of the windshield I assume this guy didn't even enjoy this car as much as we will do <laughs> let's go ahead and I will show you what we have on this car because this one is super nice black on black with performance kit installed let's go <laughs> As I already mentioned, the car has performance kit on it installed, but let's go over the car for now. So as we can see, a front M Sport bumper with some uh, scratches on it. And the previous owner also installed the yellow fog lights, kind of look cool. And uh, here is, I assume, damage off of the that accident that has, has been happened. Okay, so Hankook wheels, tires. Stock one for 335 E90 sedan. You might think they are the same as on uh, E92 or E93, but these wheels actually unique for E90s. They uh, have different offset compared to the one on the E92, and it's narrower in here and it's wider in here. E92, it's just a flat thing. Okay, and here is our damage. Pretty bad damage on the back. Nothing survived. I wish we can have that beautiful M Sport bumper in black color. The color actually black sapphire, which is color code is 475. Kind of look cool on that with that sunset. I like that. The car is black, as I said, and uh, we got the black interior. But the cool thing is this glacier trim. Oh yeah, look, wow so cool i think this is the best best one you can get on e90 except of the m m3 and uh look at the condition of everything super 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 clean as we always do let's do the cup holder test pew <laughs> yep yep that's how you know if the car in perfect condition both cup holders in good working condition here is our M Sport door trims, blah, door trims, <laughs> door entrance trim, beautiful. Then, uh, of course, M Sport package comes with the black shadow line. Oh, I forgot to mention, the car is completely black. Even the headliner is black because it's the M Sport package. Let's go from the driver's side. Immaculate condition steering wheel. I think we don't have any of them right now in stock. And this is gonna be the hot one. Everybody wants that. Just a regular hi-fi sound system on it. Not a uh, Logic 7. I wish, I wish, I wish, but not. And uh, we don't have the uh, speakers on the back because of that. On the back, as we remember from the previous uh, convertible with rear end damage, we have our uh, headrest deployed. Actually, both of them deployed in here, which is pretty bad. But look at the interior. It's super clean. I think this is the this is the best the best E90 you can get with the best color combination. Not the best, but you will never go wrong with all black, like triple black. And also we can even paint the wheels in black. That's then it's gonna be like completely black. And uh, let me show you under the hood. The car is running, by the way, and it has. 97 97 184 thousand miles on it let's look under the hood Ta -da! that's what i was talking about bmw performance kit together with vrsf but vrsf just a sticker this is kind of metal plate i know it's just a sticker but looks cool it's gonna be this radiator support is gonna be 300 more vrsf charge pipe that's why this guy 
put the sticker on it. BMW Performance Power Kit means that we have our ECU tuned and uh, then on E92 we have additional coolant but on E90 even if it's the BMW Performance Kit we don't have that oil cooler. I wish we can have it but like on uh, 335 IS but we don't have it unfortunately. And look at the condition of everything. For that type of mileage, 97,000 miles, it's not as bad and it's not like the low mileage, it's like in the middle, but the condition of the car, super cool. Guys, don't look at the mileage, look at the condition of the car overall. Like, look at the engine, how how well it's been maintained. Because you might, uh, you might think like, hey, I, I will get the engine with 50,000 miles and it's gonna be super good compared to the engine with 120, let's say. But the 120,000 miles would look like this one. And if you remember one series that we had before uh, from, uh, from Atlanta, Georgia, that we bought uh, with red interior, the car had 66,000 miles, but the condition of it was like terrible. Where everything was worn out, the steering wheel, seats, everything compared to this one. This one is super cool. And uh, here is our sticker. Attention, BMW performance kit installed. Rep replace spark plugs okay i hope this guy replaced them at that mileage so everything appears to be working and uh, here is our engine running for a while so we can rev it up and let's hear that's how we usually test our engines if it can hold if it can hold like that then it's gonna be fine no smoke as you can see Super good car, super clean condition and uh, also we have that BMW Performance Edition sticker. I think we should keep that. We'll definitely keep that one and put it somewhere in, uh, on Tesla. So as I mentioned before on uh, Performance Package, Performance Power Kit E92 we have additional like the same radiator in here on this side for coolant the same as for oil on uh, under the passenger headlight but for e90 for some reason we don't have it in here and uh, so basically i don't even know what exactly means performance package for e90 And finally here is our engine out again super clean engine you barely can see it on the Sun but it's so beautiful no dust nothing no oil leaks nothing so cool the turbocharger look it's like it's brand new catalytic it's almost brand new in the front we don't have those oil spots right here super clean engine no baked oil nothing almost brand new alternator in here ac pump like brand new that's the transmission oil cooler super clean as well you can even see the part number usually it's like the baked oil in here we have a little bit of oil right there but it's normal it's normal as always let's go ahead and take the engine apart we'll remove everything and uh, here is our car we will take it to the scrap yard. Let's see what else we have in here. Ooh, pretty much nothing. And this is the end of the story with this car dismantling BMW 2011 E90 with performance package there are two ver two versions of uh, BMW performance power kit version one it's just a software version two it's the software plus additional auxiliary radiator on the driver's side as I expected to have on this car but we didn't have it the upgraded fan with like the more power let's say 
Unfortunately, in this car, we didn't have auxiliary radiator and fan, and we just had the software and that priceless BMW Performance Edition uh, sticker on the back. We have our engine out, transmission is out, and the car ready to go to the scrapyard. And we are ready to get the next car inside. It's gonna be 2009 BMW 135. And I will show it to you in the next episode. See you there. <laughs>